Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit and check out my video. And we are here at Silverstone with the Bentley, and I finally got a setup for it. Um, I feel kind of disappointed just because, not in the setup, just in, it just took me so long. I mean, I, I thought, you know, I really, you know, usually the Bentley is, for me, it's not that bad as far as getting, you know, getting it balanced right and everything else but for some reason and this is just on me again I'm not blaming the car just that's why I was a little disappointed myself because I just it just seemed like I mean I must have ran oh at least four out three four different sessions at an hour a piece and it's just unbelievable and I just kept like flip-flopping that'd be too you know understeery too oversteery too slidey too not sl I mean it's just I kept going back and forth, but I couldn't find that balance. And I mean, I'm trying to, f I like finding a, when you're going through the turn, it's a nice rate of turn. It's not, you know, too understeery or too oversteery as far as, you know, like coming off, you know, from the beginning to the middle to the end of the turn. I like it to be pretty consistent, okay? Maybe, I mean, I don't mind a teeny bit of oversteer coming off the corner if, it, if you're not, you know, really counter steering or anything. But I mean, um, you know, I don't want it where you're constantly catching it and, or, you know, you're turning and the car's just sliding. I mean, all those things are no good. So it's just, you know, you're really just, I could not find that balance to where I think I'd get it and then it would go away or I couldn't get the tire wear where I wanted it or I could, it was just unbelievable. I mean, one of those things. So, uh, let's quit the blabbing and I'll go ahead and make a lap. But yeah, it's uh, just one of those things. I guess sometimes it just things click, and other times it just doesn't want to. Just doesn't want to click. Again, it gets a little bit more understeer here in turn one that I really want. But if I don't, then it it pays for it other places. So um, it's very little. But if it, you know. Here is really good to the S's. Especially the rear end of the car. I couldn't find, you know, it, I needed to get it to hook up. And it just, this place is so slick, it just did not want to hook up. Good speed, 156. That's right there. Goes through here really good. I think I could do better through here. I was kind of, I was taking it through first. I tried second. I would think I'd do better in second, but I just couldn't get it to work right. But I think I could make some more time up there. But and through here, um, this right-hander, you just want to kind of coast in the beginning, like right here, coast right there, and then get back in it. Make sure you're going to go through the right, and then you know because you don't want to push it wide. It's really good through here. I got it a lot better through here. Really solid. It's not sliding. You know, a lot of times you get the back end sliding around. It wasn't at all. You see, it's really solid. And I played the fifth on this last turn because I just stink at it. So, as far as, I mean, I kept trying a lot of different lines, too, just on my driving to see if I could find some better lines. And I just, I don't know, I'm still not really that happy with it. But I just tried to go in, try to cut that last corner so I could come in from an angle. And then, uh, so I'm, at, you know, at a sharp angle. Try to get a little bit of run that way. It seemed to help a little bit, but I'm still not really confident with it. But that was my fast lap. At a 159.08. So, again, you know, I really would uh, would have liked to get in the 58s. But, you know, I'm sure it would if it was, you know, really light fuel or if you were, uh, you know, cool weather. This is like 24, 25 C. So, you know, with the sun out, no clouds. So, I mean, or very hardly any clouds. So, you know, again, it's not like super sticky. It's optimal, but it's, it could be better. Um, but again, you can, you can see it does 156 again. did it every single time, so I'm happy with that. But uh, let's go over the setup. 
Got 25 left front, 25 2 left rear, 26 3 right front, 26 1 right rear. You see the temperatures, it was 24 to 25. That's why I'd only go to like 10 o'clock. I, I went from 9 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock on my stents. And then after that, it was just getting so hot, I would usually start back over again. Otherwise, you're just trying to catch just the tracks getting so hot. And you're, you know, you're ch spending a lot of time just chasing tire temperatures. Um, the toe is negative 0.2 with the camber at negative 3.2 on the left and negative 3 on the right with the caster at 14. And on the rear, the toe is positive 2 with the camber at negative 2.8 on the left rear and negative 2.7 on the right rear. Now, you can up this in the front a couple clicks if you feel like you need it. Um, you know, to 3.4 and to 3.2. I tried it all the way from 3.8. I mean, I tried it a, a bunch. So I've thrown a lot of different alignment settings. I tried the toe at just negative 0.1. I've tried the toe on the rear as a positive point. Well, I've been all over the place on all this setup. So I've been trying pretty much throwing everything with the kitchen sink at it. And this is what I like. It feels the best because I like to feel the edge of the tire. So um, I, it just seemed to do better that way with me. So that, But that's just me. Again, I did try it a lot with... Um, I did a lot with negative 3.6 and negative 3.4 over here. So you can even go that high. So any again, you can change that if you think it, you can get a better feel. It might you might get a little bit better turn that way um, in the front, but I just didn't like the way it felt. So again, I just more went like this way, and I didn't really. And actually, like I said, I ran my fastest lap like that. So again, you know, I don't think it's that big a difference. Um, it's just more feel, it's fine tuning. Uh, TC's four, ABS is four, fuel. Um, I tried a whole bunch of different ones, so really this is irrelevant because I had 65, 80, and then uh, that last dent I did 80 something with uh, half a tank. Like if you did a pit stop, simulated that. So usually with a uh, race fuel load, it was running lower 59s, like 59 twos, threes, stuff like that. Um, mechanical six end of anti roll bar, brake bias is 62, steering is 11. Springs in the front are 150,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 2. And on the rear, the springs are 145,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 and a bump stop range of 20. Any roll bar is 4 and the preload on the diff is 80. Now, I have tried every kind of spring combination you can imagine on this. Um, you can go down to 61 on the brake bias, even 60, but that's pushing it. You got to be really, you, you got to be maybe right near the end of it's, you're starting to get some understeer, you might want to go all the way down to 60, but that'd be max. Um, as far as the springs, I've tried lighter, I've tried heavier, I've tried staggered as far as, uh, like heavier, like this, like 50, you know, 155, like a heavier spring in the rear, all kind. And then you start getting a slide, you start getting the car sliding middle corner and that's no good. Um, the whole car just starts sliding and stuff. So again, that's what I wouldn't get grip. I could not get grip. I tried different bump stop rates, rain. I mean, I tried everything. I, I can't even tell you. Uh, preload on the diff. I've tried so many different things too. It seemed like it liked it right around 80 to 100, so I, I went ahead and went with 80. Um, otherwise, you started to get some mid corner understeer that I didn't like. Um, start pushing the front. So again, I turned that down. Um, we got the sh uh, the shocks here, and we'll go over just look at Motec really quick. There's Motec. And I, it looks really good. I, I mean, I've worked a lot to get this to have a decent rate. I've had some crazy ones. Um, I mean, and there's, there's, you can see this off here and a little off there. So, again, you know, you can see it's different places. But I got it to where it's, it's you know, mostly uniform on everything. So, and again, everything was coming in pretty good as far as around 49 and 50. So, again, that's where I like it. Again, you can always do something, but I think it's really close. So, again, I think it's good. So, we got 41520 on the left front and 41523 on the right front and 2182 on the left rear and 2182 on the right rear. Uh, arrow got 54 in the front. It's all the way down. 65 in the rear with an eight wing and a three and a three in the brake ducts and the front arrow variation is a negative 5.8. And again, here I've tried everything. I've I have 
raise the ride height in the front with lower wing. I've tried. To, I just I've been all over. So it's not for lack of effort. Um, again, I think it's okay. Um, I mean, I was really hoping for better, to be honest, with the Bentley because I know the Bentley I thought was usually pretty good here at Silverstone, but maybe it's just me. It could be just driver. So again, you know, I hope it works good for you. I hope it's okay, and uh, you know, I hope you it's you know it works decent. You can get some good times and have some good races with it. Again, I try to you know a little on the conservative side. Um, trying to get it to where it could do some same laps every time and not just one lap and that's it. Um, not that it doesn't fall off, but it's slow and progressive. It's not something that just you drop a half a second instantly. So, again, um, I think it's a good setup, and I hope – but the main thing is I hope you all like it and it works okay for you. So, again, you might have to do some adjustments, um, some suggestions if you think it's not – rotating enough um again you can either go with the anti roll bar one click or you can maybe go down with the wing one click i would not change the ride height up anymore um i've tried a little higher and it, it just starts to not work right and especially on the brakes it just doesn't work good on the brakes and also this because the rear comes up when the fuel comes down so if you see like that see it goes up two more so it's going to come up that's going to come up one that's going to come up two in the back so, again, you, I, I really wouldn't suggest that. Now, if you want to adjust it down, that'd be fine. Like, if you want to go down one click, but take the wing down one. So, again, that, you know, and things like that, you know, another combination that wouldn't be so bad. Go down one click, one click, and maybe even add one click here. Um, you'd have to see if it's too, too, you know, too slidey. It might be. Um, so, but, I mean, I was trying to go off of something that had some, you can race and, that would not um, be impossible to achieve as far as times and things like that. So, again, I hope it's okay, and I hope that uh, I'll leave the link to the setup in the description. And, of course, it's free, just like all my setups. Um, you just got to try it if you like it. And, of course, um, I, just, uh, I hope you give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. And any comments would be great, too. And I sure hope you come back and visit again really soon. See ya.